individuals, and I would say it was AIDS, if you like. Which well, and this thing is called the mystery disease, but it's quite obvious that it is an AIDS-like disease, and it's been uh, manufactured on purpose, and it's being transmitted on purpose, and the purpose is to rid the planet of certain people. I believe that AIDS, in reality, is not a natural accident. It's not a natural disease that just sort of evolved. Somebody cooked it up. I think that it's something that either escaped from a, a genetic engineering laboratory or something that was manufactured on purpose in a genetic engineering laboratory to somebody's specifications. I also believe that all the warfare of the future will be conducted with these biological agents because now that gene splicing is a thing that can be done, <clears throat> it is feasible to consider the preparation of certain diseases which will kill only specific races, nationalities, or uh, people with certain interests because you can tailor the disease to attack certain things in certain categories. For example, there are diseases now which affect only certain types of people. Tay-Sachs disease, which affects certain uh, Jewish people. Sickle cell anemia, which affects black people. If you want to narrow it down and carry it to ridiculous extremes, I could see somebody in an American laboratory or maybe even in a Swiss laboratory making a disease that would kill only Iraqis or only Iranians or only Libyans or only Russians or only people from Newcastle, whatever they decided <laughs> to do. You know? But these are very serious allegations, Frank. I mean, what actually makes you believe this? Do you have hard and fast evidence that this is the case, or is it just something that you no, theorized? No, this is just the opinion of an aging buffoon. You know, <laughs> just think nothing of it. So, you think that possibly America or any other country in the world could um, increase its power and its standing internationally by actually utilizing these agents? Let's look at the world the way it really is. Government is a joke. Governments don't do anything. That's like a cardboard cutout that hides where the real machinery is. The world is a place that does business. The, the world is run by in, multinational businesses that mostly sell weapons to each other. And then you have sugar business, oil business, uh, coal business, you know, business. And when the guys who run these things say jump, all governments jump. And it's foolish to consider the possibility of nuclear war because from a business standpoint it's impractical it stops all business so the way you have to look at it is the chances are much more likely that the sales will continue of missile delivery systems but what will be in the warheads will not be things that destroy real estate it's much more practical to think of missiles going someplace and putting out chemicals or uh, microbes that enable the one party to subjugate the other party by controlling its labor force while leaving the buildings intact. So you've subjugated them and now you got a bonus, you have their machinery, you got this, you got that. And I believe that there's somebody sitting in an office someplace that's working on it and that's the practical way to do it. You can scream about nuclear war and you have people running around with signs and stuff like that, but I don't believe there will ever be a nuclear war because it's just impractical from a business sense. Meanwhile, the companies that are building delivery systems are making plenty of money, millions of dollars, because the money goes into small arms delivery systems, medium-sized arms. Their commerce is still going on, and that's why they're alive. That's what they love to do. Yeah, that's already been borne out by missile systems that have been developed that do, in fact, destroy people and not buildings. I take your point there, but if you take somewhere as complicated as America, which is a real potpourri of different religions, different races, uh, you're going to have a mighty uh, uh, complicated missile to have to destroy the people of America because you've got Jews, you've got Anglo-Saxons, you've got all sorts of different races. So doesn't the argument kind of fall down there in that? As I say, you'd have to actually develop a, a really complicated missile to destroy... No, the America. Russians would have to develop a really complicated missile to destroy the United States. The Americans would not have so much trouble. Okay. And under an administration like Reagan, I'm sure that they've sat down and looked at the numbers and said, this is a pretty terrific idea. Having said all that you just said... Wait, so there's more. Oh, they, not, they not only thought it was a terrific idea, but they were convinced that Jesus wanted them to do it that way. <laughs> you know, there's something about government that has always troubled me. You know, when people, somebody from the government tells you something, 
it always seemed like a lie, no matter what it was. It was just like fake, and everybody else would buy into it. I just had a lot of trouble thinking that whatever they told you, that there could be any truth to it. You just couldn't trust them. Even local government? Yeah. So you, your first... It's even worse for local government because you can see what the guy does in his spare time. You know, you can see him on the street, you know, see what a ponce he is. I remember when Martin Luther King was assassinated, and it was just another one of those things that made me worry about the sanity of the, the people in this country and the sanity of the policies and why something like that should have to happen. Any kind of an assassination, it's just so pew. And that, that was April, and then in June, Bobby Kennedy is assassinated. Yeah, it looked like a trend, didn't it? Maybe using the Kennedy assassination as yeah. an interesting answer. Well, you, then you get the uh, Bobby Kennedy assassination, and it starts to look like a trend. I mean, anybody who thinks that these were isolated incidents, you know, just uh, isolated crackpots, you know, I see a trend. I see you know, a mysterious hand behind all this. I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I think that it's been... The idea that the possibility that certain types of conspiracies have existed in American politics, just because they've existed before, would allow you to project that they could continue to exist to this day.